Let's just focus now. It's been a turbulent time for American aerospace and defense firm Boeing. Boeing has been facing troubles with safety issues on the fleet of 737 series passenger planes. Forget planes, even Boeing's spacecraft is facing engineering issues, battling gas leaks and multiple delays. The Boeing Starline aircraft in, is still in space and the craft is scheduled to return to Earth sometime next week. So now what's the big issue that's plaguing Boeing's spacecraft is the question. Boeing's astronaut carrying spacecraft Starliner is on its maiden test flight to space. On June 5th, Starliner mounted atop the Atlas V rocket and lifted off. It was carrying two American astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams. Their destination was the International Space Station, a football field-sized lab that circles 425 kilometers above the Earth. From the very beginning, Starliner had been facing troubles. At the time of launch, there was a helium gas leak in the capsule. Despite that, the teams went ahead with the launch with complete confidence that they could still make it very comfortably. Helium is commonly used in almost all space-faring rockets. Helium is an inert gas which does not react with other chemicals and materials. Helium is also lightweight in nature, so huge quantities of helium can be compressed in small tanks. In most rockets, helium is used to pressurize the rocket's fuel tank. Simply put, the rocket fuels have to be fed to the engines at a certain pressure. By using helium gas, fuel can be consistently made to flow into the rocket engines. Through the course of Starliner's journey to the International Space Station, it faced a series of helium gas leaks. Five of Starliner's 28 thrusters had failed. However, the leaks only delayed the primary mission by an hour and the capsule docked with the International Space Station as planned. Helium leaks can affect the firing of small engines which helps the Starliner capsule steer itself in space and adjust its position. Originally, the Starliner test mission was to last only eight days. However, with the ongoing helium leaks and the related analysis, it could return only by 26th of June. The helium leak issue sounds dangerous, but NASA and Boeing maintain all is well. They say that the Starliner capsule contains 10 times more helium than it actually needs for its return mission. But space flight is never easy and nothing can be left to chance. A space, in space rather, there's always possibilities of endless errors. Space flight is the hardest en engineering feat known to mankind. Irrespective of how much testing is done on Earth, there is always a risk. A space under vacuum conditions, under extreme temperatures, variations in hostile environments, components and materials behave very differently than on Earth. For Boeing particularly, Starliner's safe return is extremely crucial. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.